Chicago Cubs baseball brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Ford, manufacturers of America's best selling brand. Check out our best selling lineup at your local Ford store or online at localfordstores.com. And by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. Cubs leading six to four, trying to avoid season series sweep. Plato strike on Valbuena. Eighth inning. Nobody has scored since the fourth. Nobody scores again. That's okay. Well, how about the White Sox bullpen? Pretty good roll. Not allowed a run in 23 and a third innings. How about the Cubs young hard throwers. Ross Cup and Ramirez following Schlitter. Since the fifth inning they've given up just one hit. Yeah, and a night where both starters really struggled with their command. Neither guy could get into much of a rhythm. Waiting to see if, if anybody, if either of the two starters could kind of settle in. And Cubs jumped all over Scott Carroll there in the third. Ultimately, with six runs on him, 11 hits in four plus innings. And Jake Arietta, you could tell when Ricky Renteria was talking to Jake in the dugout that he wasn't thrilled about being pulled from this ball game, but he struggled with his command as well. As a starting pitcher, you always want to. Try to push through five, put yourself in position to get that win. Just wasn't going to be tonight for Arietta, and the bullpen has stepped in and done a real nice job. Full count, three and two. With that, outside hit man Paul Schaefer. Rock on the shades. There's Rizzo with leadoff man on. Plato did the same thing in the top of the seventh. We're working out of it. Wind seems to be freshening a bit as Justin Grimm heats up in the Cubs bullpen. Stage of the game where you're willing to play for a run just to pad that lead a little bit. You're not going to do it with Rizzo. You're not going to take the bat out of his hands. I'm assuming Jason Hamill has flown ahead. He gets to start in Atlanta tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, I would guess. Didn't see him in the clubhouse before the game. Yeah. Well, this badly. Yeah. Two and one. The itinerary had us in around 3:30 this morning. That was. That's got to be pushed back with the pace of this game. So. I suspect Jason jumped on a flight late this afternoon or at some point this evening to get down there and get a good night's rest. It's two and one. Here it is. High drive to right. Way back there. And it is not caught by Sierra. He dropped it right at the fence, and Rizzo will have a double. 
Don't know if the wind held that ball up and kept it in or not. Sierra got a glove on it. And then the Cubs have him at second and third with nobody out. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be a home run. Then it looked like it was going to be an out. And ultimately, Sierra couldn't haul it in. And the wind. No doubt played a part in that. If not keeping it in the ballpark, at least making it an issue for Sierra. And this high towering drive off the bat of Anthony Rizzo. It's turned around and then starts to drift to his right. White Sox bring the infield in against Castro. Second and third, no outs. Eighth inning, Cubs leading by two. Ball one. Just there had Castro been able to lay off that pitch then he could have sat on a 2 0 fastball. Plato with the plus arm but actually his slider I think has been his better pitch here tonight. Good action on him. He actually commands it better than the fastball. Ground ball to third. And Gillespie will get the out at first. Balbuena holding. Bring up Sherholtz. Well, you don't want to leave these checks on cash here in the eighth inning. Well, it's tonight for Nate. We got that batting average off the interstate. Field still in. It's a splitter. Ninety one. Swing two and zero. Oh. Castillo on deck. Two hit game for Nate tonight. His first multi hit game since April twentieth. One mile an hour split finger pitch. Six runs on 12 hits for the Cubs, four on 10 for the White Sox. Each team with an error. Bases loaded. Third walk issued by Clayto in his two innings. And here comes Don Cooper.
Well, I could read his lips. He said, hey, you're one pitch away from getting out of it. <laughs> Talk to any yeah. pitching coach, and they'll tell you that the, it's all positive. Yeah. They'll say, don't do this, don't do that. It's Get a ground ball, get out of the inning. Yeah, not in the modern game. I imagine years ago, it was a, you're killing me, man. What's wrong with you? Let's go. Keep hanging that slider. You're going to be backing up third. Three on one out. Oh, look out. It hit him. Castillo got hit. And a painful way to knock in a run. At least he's smiling, and it's now seven yeah, to four. Man, that's what we were talking about earlier with Clayto and that big arm of his that sometimes has no clue where the fastball is going. He turned that one loose. <laughs> Wellington able to avoid a serious injury here. Just a glancing blow on that front arm. I did. Certainly saw a deflection. A three run lead. Still only one out. And it's Coglin. Pitching coaches, they live and die with their guys. Every pitch. They're out of timeouts. <laughs> One and two to Coughlin. Kick the pitch. Strike three call. Two away. And again, the breaking ball, the pitch he commands the best. He finds the strike zone with that one to finish off Chris Coglin. So it's Alt now with two outs, a run in. This is still full. A pretty good looking pitch right there. What do you think the average pitches per inning has been tonight? <laughs> it's over 20. Yeah. Right? I'll pull out the driver. Three and oh. White Sox pitching really the story the first three games of this series. The Cubs have gotten to them tonight. But 
Trichka grabs a ball in the White Sox pen. 3-1 to Alt. Mm. That was the grand slam swing. Couldn't find it. But he runs the three two drill. There's another grand slam swing. Gone. It's 11 to four. of his career. I'm ringing back to back nights now and he turns on that inside fastball like last night no doubt about it as soon as he left the bat it, as soon as it left the bat you knew it was going to leave the yard. I believe he was at both feet in the air when he made contact with that fastball. I guess that comes under the category of not getting cheated. A Five run eight, and that's sending many of the customers out of the ballpark. Not much doubt about it. Third homer of the night for the Cubs. Rizzo, Castro, now Alt. Sharply hit grounder into center. Junior Lake, he's on for the third time. Cubs will bat around for the second time. Did it in the third inning? We'll do it here in the eighth. First time the Cubs have hit double digits in runs this year. One hit off their season high. Second time they've hit three homers. That ball pretty well struck, but it's going to stay in and be caught by Deaza to get Kalish. So a hit batter with the bases loaded. That was Castillo. And then, then two batters later, Mike Holt with a four run homer. It's 11 4 Cubs. Whether it's up high, phone five, or down low, high five. We're at a wake, solemn low five. Put your hands in the air for these five friends. Give me multiple high fives. Arthritis five. Freeze spray high five. A high five doesn't even cut it. High six. On how I met your mother. Tomorrow at eight on WGN America. Hi, I'm Mike, founder of DollarShaveClub.com. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Each razor has stainless steel blades, an aloe vera lubricating strip, and a pivot head. It's so gentle a toddler could use it. And do you like spending $20 a month on brand name razors? 19 go to Roger Federer. I'm good at tennis. And do you think your razor needs a vibrating handle, a flashlight, a back scratcher, and 10 blades? Your handsome ass grandfather had one blade and polio. Looking good, pop up! Stop paying for shave tech you don't need. And stop forgetting to buy your blades every month. Alejandro and I are going to ship them right to you. So start deciding where you're going to stack all those dollar bills I'm saving you. We are dollarshaveclub.com, and the party is on. Got the lunchtime blues. They need to be inspired. Something better than the rest. New Lipton peach iced tea. With that ham and cheese. Taste some sunshine there. Drink it down and you believe the it. Taste the peachy as a day. Longhorn.
knows offering up flavor like this at a price like this can only be called one thing. Bold. Bold flavors, bold price. Like the new Cajun Dusted Shrimp or the new Bourbon Black Pepper Sirloin. Just $12.99. Tonight at Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. Well, it hasn't been uh, that easy for Mike Alt. Feel some nerves defensively. We've seen some strikeouts, but we're also seeing some glimpses, too. Why the Rangers regarded him so highly and why the Cubs felt they got a steal when they had him as part of that trade. And he's homered on back to back nights in this series and hoping he put the game out of reach with the grand slam. Yeah, it obviously has big time power. Um, he doesn't hit wall scrapers when he gets into one they go a good long ways. Justin Grimm, other guy, brought over in the Garza deal. And Justin 101 with a 338. He's battled some control issues. Whittle away at those walk numbers a little bit. Swing and a miss, strike three. So let's see, that's the fifth strikeout in the last six White Sox batters. Starting with Ross Cup, then Ramirez, now Grimm on the mound for the Cubs. Two on Sierra. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Come a whiff fest. In the last few innings. Sox had only struck out once for the first five. It's interesting, isn't it? And Look, the power arms pretty impressive here the last uh, three innings for the Cubs, but you start stretching the lead out a little bit, the at bats, the mm -hmm. quality starts to yeah. Yeah. Just change a little bit. Yeah, it's just human nature. You know, guys will tell you, well, I'm not trying to give away at bats, but the, you know, the, Especially on a night like tonight, it's been such a long night. Understandable that the focus would diminish a little bit. And I think uh, in the, the visiting dugout, uh, the manager will be really happy that the Cubs did add on. And because of this long game, it would have been not inconceivable to see the White Sox and they did hang around but mm -hmm. you know really push them here late. Cubs have had closer issues but uh, 
Man, you get a seven-run lead, everybody. Yeah, well, look, look how free a little bit. Look how free and easy Justin Grimm is throwing the ball right now. Yeah. Big lead. Just turning it loose, attacking with that fastball. If this was a two or three-run game, it might be a little more defensive. a little bit of uh, controversy on the, uh, the the ball Sierra didn't catch. Uh, Rizzo was credited with a double, which I agreed with. Uh, there are some on Twitter and maybe some people here in the ballpark who thought that should have been an error, but uh, we've seen some guys dancing around in the outfield with the tricky wind. So uh, it's a double, and I agree with it. 11-4 as we go to the ninth. At Golden Corral, we love seniors. Right now, our senior early bird special is just $7.49, drink included. Choose from all the delicious Golden Corral food you love. Drink included for just $7.49. It's the early bird special. It's just for seniors, and it's only at Golden Corral. Hurry, there's a hot offer for heartburn sufferers. Now try Zantac free at ZantacOffers.com. Hurry, it's free this week only. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Get Zantac free at ZantacOffers.com. Schlepping kids around can be a lot of work. But for Cooper, giving Chloe a ride again and again is all play. To keep Cooper's body strong, he wants lots of meat, which is why his family only feeds him Iams. Imes has two times the meat as other leading brands to help give him the strong body he needs anytime Chloe needs a lift. Imes, keep love strong with two times the meat. Love the Imes difference or your money back. Today, you only pretended to hold the elevator. And you're not necessarily proud of that. And you let your competitive spirit get the best of you. Yes! Who saw that? And you're not necessarily proud of that either. But tonight, you made Johnsonville Grillers. Thick and juicy gourmet burgers with more flavor than ordinary burgers. And friends couldn't get enough. And you're definitely proud of that. Grillers in cheddar and bacon and Swiss and mushroom. Only from Johnsonville. Chicago Cubs baseball is brought to you by Godzilla in theaters everywhere May 16th. Kill the Riddick. I'm about to know, man. Chronicles of Riddick, this Sunday at 7.30 on WGN America. Justin swung on a missed Grimm. That was impressive. Yeah, just came in and struck out the side like there's nothing to it. Jake Patrichka. Here in the ninth. Seen a fair bit of Jake in this series. This is third appearance in the four ball games. 14th overall, no wins, no losses, a 174 ERA. You joked earlier about the, uh, a final in San Diego at some point tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still ahead of them, but they're in the bottom of the sixth. Catching up. Yeah, they they started two hours after we did. Security issue to deal with. Patrichka to Valbuena. Good eye, good eye. Valbuena got it started last inning. Lead off walk. Oh, I have mm. something for you. Gosh, we've been on the air for one and a half hours. I have pitching matchups uh -huh. for the weekend. <laughs> you mentioned Hamill, uh -huh. Jason Hamill, and Julio Tehran tomorrow night. Jeff Samarja, Irvin Santana. That should be a good one Saturday. Line and caught by Abreu. Edwin Jackson on Sunday right now the Braves have left-hander Alex Wood listed but uh, reading today Evan Floyd maybe 
It sounded like Freddie Gonzalez would like to an extra day for what? possibly give uh, Floyd another start or two or three, but uh, does not want to go to a six man rotation. So we'll wait and see. Rizzo swings and misses. What a night. Single, homer, walk, strikeout, double, three runs. Now one of many really good nights he's had already this year. You talked about not uh, giving up uh, at bats. Uh, Adrian Nieto is the new catcher. Uh, I feel like the consistent quality of Rizzo's at bats has been really impressive. Good swing even though he hit right into the shift that time. And that'll go four to three. And that kind of tells you he's growing up doesn't it because it uh, it's a long season at this level first full. Yeah, yeah, last I, year he went through peaks and valleys, yeah, but I think he learned a lot last year. Yeah. Uh, and you know, when, when he started to struggle last year, he kind of spiraled downhill, got into a little bit of a funk, and started chasing pitches out of the zone, and you know, probably questioning himself a fair bit. But with that under his belt and his early season success, he looks very comfortable in the box. Looks like a guy who goes up there with a pretty good plan. Well, I'd have to think, uh, you know, early in a an everyday player's career, when you have these little four or five days mini slumps, you know, you're one for twelve, you're all for ten. That uh, hit Castro did. How many hit batters? Is that four That's tonight? Four, yeah. Someone got a piece of Nieto too. But we saw Anthony make a lot of mechanical adjustments uh, when he came to the Cubs and got back to the big leagues. But I think it, JD, it's it's easy to, to tweak and tweak to the point where you can't remember where you started. Even if your hitting yeah. coach is not telling you you need to, you're saying, "Man, I haven't uh, I haven't had a hit since last Thursday. Yes. I need to change something." And I think what I've seen from him this year is he's sticking with what yeah. he believes so in. Trust your skill set. Trust yourself. Um, you know, I know guys will go back to their hotel and they'll, they'll take a bat and they'll swing, you know, a thousand times in the hotel room at night. And tinker with their stance. And, you know, some guys have been very successful doing that, modifying their stance all the time. But the one thing in, that I've noticed about Anthony, it seems to me anyway, is just a little quieter in the batter's box. So, you know, he went to that hands low approach last year. Um, and there, there'd be a, there was a lot of bobbing up and down and tipping the bad head and, right. and you know and then he would kind of kind of lock and be ready to go. But I think with all that movement, sometimes he was a little late getting set. Um, now they're still you know he's still kind of low, but it's just it's it's quieter. And uh, I mentioned this recently. Uh, I found his post-game comments after one of his better games this year really interesting. He kind of played the all shucks, you know. I'm not trying to guide it. I'm just trying to make good contact, and I'm not thinking very much. He's not lying. I think that he's approaching it in that regard trying to really keep it simple. Yeah. Kind of, kind of don't zen, let zen that, like them. yes but don't let that fool you. He's a very smart cerebral guy and thinks a lot about what he does. But I think that's a sign of maturity as well. Just keep it simple man. Well what's the line stop thinking you're killing us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're hurting the ball club. Right. Don't think you can only hurt the ball club.
Three and two on Sherholtz. He walks to reach for the fourth time. I also think he's uh, uh, Anthony's doing what you kind of suggested in spring training. I don't feel like he's speaking for the entire team, feeling like he's got to be the spokesman. Yeah, and that was kind of put on him externally last year. This idea that he was the you know the face of the franchise, and you know you're a young kid and you hear that and you take it to heart. And say, okay, well I got to be the guy who, you know, as you said, is, is the spokesman for the ball club, and eh, you don't have to worry about that. Just go play. Strike it's 0 and 2 to Castile. Well, he didn't break his old for it, but he did get hit by a pitch with the bases loaded to force in a run in the eighth. Broke his bat, flares one out in the shallow center, and it drops down. He snaps an 0 for 19 and does drive in another run. Castro scores 12 to 4. Finally, says. sometimes you just need a little good fortune. Right off the end of the bat, breaks his bat, and then just dumps it out there in front of Deaza. Boy, good night for pretty much everybody. We go up and down the lineup. Everybody pitching in. Kalish, two hits, a run. Valbuena on base twice, two runs, an RBI. Mentioned Rizzo's night. Castro's homered, scored twice. Scherholz has been on four times. Castillo, three times, two RBIs. Hoglin, single and a walk. Alt with the grand slam, two hits. Two hits, a walk, and RBI for Lake. And the Cubs poised to beat an American League team for the first time this year. Two and two. High fly ball, right center field. Deaza calling off Sierra to end the inning. The Cubs have put up six here in the last two innings and lead by eight. Whether you watch it for the drama, Back away from the vehicle. watch it for the justice, You're under arrest for attempted murder. or watch it for the comebacks, That's a lawyer. Mm. I'll be in mourning for the next five minutes. We bet you can't watch just one. Law and Order, tomorrow at 2 on WGN America. I'm Phil Mickelson, pro golfer. If you have painful, swollen joints, I've been in your shoes. One day I'm on top of the world. The next I'm saying, I have this uh, thing called psoriatic arthritis. I had some uh, intense pain. It progressively got worse. My rheumatologist told me about Embril. I'm surprised how quickly my symptoms have been managed. Embril may lower your ability to fight infections. Serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, nervous system and blood disorders, and allergic reactions have occurred. Before starting Enbrel, your doctor should test you for tuberculosis and discuss whether you've been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. You should not start Enbrel if you have an infection like the flu. Tell your doctor if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if you have symptoms such as persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Get back to the things that matter most. Ask your rheumatologist if Enbrel is right for you. Enbrel, the number one biologic medicine prescribed by rheumatologists. <laughs> Did you know the word mortgage translates as death contract? Kind of explains a lot. 
<gasps> Get a mortgage without killing yourself in the process. And Lending Tree, when banks compete, you win. Get together for over 70 lunch combinations starting at $6.99. All part of Olive Garden's entirely new Pronto lunch menu. Choose from handmade sandwiches and flatbreads paired with unlimited soup or salad. 70 lunch combinations starting at $6.99 at Olive Garden. Wrapping up the Chicago v. Chicago portion of the 2014 schedule. All right, so I did a little math, in case you're wondering. All right. The Major League average pitches per innings, pitching, uh, sorry, pitches per inning this year, 16.4. Tonight, 19.4. Mm. Leuri Garcia against Justin Grimm. Struck out the side in the eighth. Garcia batting for Beckham. Scott Carroll threw 90 pitches in his four innings of work. Jake Arrieta threw 81 in four innings of work. Hudson's going to have to ice his knees and back after umpiring this game. Here comes the 337th pitch of the night. Bumped foul into the seats near the White Sox dugout. See a switch hitter. A cool first name, Leuri. Another foul. Graham relying heavily on his fastball here tonight. Why not? 95, 96 miles an hour. Doesn't need to trick people. He's got a big, comfortable lead. Former teammate Garcia. They were together with the Rangers. Right. You want to say it or should I? Go ahead. Just a bit outside. Channel Harry Doyle. Broken bad roller to Rizzo. He will flip to Grimm. Close play. Out at first. <laughs> Chest high flip to Grimm. Or I guess in this case, Ricky Vaughn. Likely not going to get to the uh, the record in terms of time of game for a nine inning contest. Castro battling the wind, two outs, 445 I guess. Yanks, Red Sox, wow. 06. Is that what it was? But we're a few minutes away from four hours. This might be close to, if not a team record, for a nine inning contest. See many nine inning games go this long. Here's Marcus Simeon. Batting for Jose Abreu. Two outs in the ninth. Ball hmm. one. Reaching back for a little something extra. 
So I guess Schlitter will get the win, right? I believe so, yep. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch, two and one. Four. Bob Seeker turn the page. Dunn's walk up music. Foul back oh, yeah. our way. <laughs> that one uh, woke up the official score, Bob Rosenberg. Although he's got his windows closed. Good thing for him. There's Rosie. Beyond the glare, you can see him. Into center. One out of four plus a walk for Adam Dunn tonight. This game not going to go quietly. Cubs tonight, 15 hits. They worked six walks. They were hit by pitches four times. It's a team that managed four hits in each of the first three games of the series. It's a wacky sport. We, we call it uh, the game with no clock, but we just showed you a clock. And they do actually time the game. But it ends after elusive at times, 27th <laughs> out for the team that's ahead. Well, I'm hearing Metallica covering uh, turn the page on Twitter. I'm done walk up music. Oh two to Viciato in the dirt outside. Ball base hit in the left. Semyon will score. It's 12 to 5.
phone call Chris Bosio didn't want to have to make, but they're going to get somebody up in the pen. Wesley Wright, who's been terrific. Alexei Ramirez lines one in the center. Dunn's going to stop at third. Well, he is not moving very quickly, and Joe McEwing didn't want to take any chances. Really, no reason to. Down seven. So, four straight hitters have reached after two are out. What's the name of that minor league team? Clinton, Not even going there. Clinton Lumber, Clinton Kings. Lumber Kings, but their they're comeback down started 16 to one, a lot man. earlier. Here comes Rick Renteria. I think he's going to make the change. Well, Justin Grimm has thrown 32 pitches tonight. Ricky feels comfortable that he ultimately could get out of this before the White Sox come all the way back. But wants to bring his lefty in here, Wesley Wright, save a few bullets for Graham and maybe save perhaps a couple of Ernie's too if Wesley can finish him off. This is your one chance. Take the Lord Marshal's offer and bow. I bow to no man. Vin Diesel. Who is this man? Are you gonna stop the monsters now? I am the monster. Convert now. Fall forever. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? The Chronicles of Riddick, this Sunday at 7.30 on WGN America. What's going on up there? That Jeff. This is all for you. Uh oh. Are you serious? <laughs> Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Vision guides us. What if the witches were those we can trust to lead? No blood must lead back to our door. The next one's to your head. Save all episodes every Sunday at 10 noon Central on WGN America. Here's lefty Wesley Wright. His job, get one more out. He's the right man for the job. It's still not a save spot, even though the bases are loaded, because the Cubs lead by seven. So Justin Grimm, an inning in two thirds. The first inning was really, really good. He struck out the side, then he got two quick outs here in the ninth for the walk, and then three consecutive singles. Ten consecutive scoreless appearances for Wesley Wright. We're a strike call. If you have anything left in your notebook that you forgot to mention earlier, you better get it in now. <laughs> I feel like this game is close to ending. You sense it. One strike. 
two strikes. Yeah, if I'm Marvin Hudson, if this ball is in the same area code, I'm ringing him up. But he has more integrity than I do. is high. Sierra on deck. Two two and yes, he did. went Cubs win. It's over. The Cubs beat the White Sox twelve to five. You got anything else to add partner. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Your vision guides us. What if the witches were those we've entrusted to me? No blood must be back to our door. The next one's to your head. Save all new episodes every Sunday at 10 p.m. Central on WGN America. Blues. They need to be inspired. Something better than the rest. New lips and peach iced tea. With that ham and cheese. Taste some sunshine there. Drink it down and you believe it. Taste the peach and yours I'm MMA champ Chuck Liddell. And I stop things. <laughs> People. <laughs> Problems. Anything that moves. Just like Dural Ass Breaks. They stop anything! Hey, if you use anything else, you should stop. Duralast. Proven tough. Get in the zone. Auto zone. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what was that? When in Rome. Or Tuscany. Mm -hmm. As in Tuscan chicken on toasted ciabatta. Well, I'm up for that. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, she's not with us. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Wendy's Tuscan Chicken on Toasted Ciabatta. Lightly breaded chicken with rich garlic and roasted tomato aioli. Now that's better. And we're open late. Longhorn knows offering up flavor like this at a price like this can only be called one thing. Bold. Bold flavors, bold price. Like the new Cajun Dusted Shrimp or the new Bourbon Black Pepper Sirloin. Just $12.99. Tonight at Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. WGN telecast of Cubs baseball will be Saturday. Cubs and the Braves from Atlanta, 6 o'clock Central Time. Once again, our final tonight, four hours and seven minutes. The Cubs beat the White Sox 12 to 5. Cubs baseball in high definition brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. For JD and our entire WGN crew, Len Casper saying good night. Thanks for watching Cubs baseball. Huh.
15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know that game show hosts should only host game shows? Samantha, do you take Kevin as your lawfully wedded husband? Or would you rather have a new car? Say hello to the season's hottest convertible. Oh, and say goodbye to Samantha. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. They say Mr. Clean was born to help people clean better. And that he travels the world inventing amazing new cleaners. Like his newest invention, Liquid Muscle, that lifts and cleans tough grease with less scrubbing. It's a liquid gel, so it's less watery and cleans more. And its cap stops by itself, so almost nothing's wasted. No matter where he went or who he helped, people couldn't thank him enough. New Mr. Clean Liquid Muscle. When it comes to clean, there's only one mister. It's 7 a.m. and Steve is already thinking about tomorrow, which is why he's investing in his heart health by eating Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Mom, make you eat that? I happen to like raisins. Invest in your heart health with Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Piers Buster's been busy. Yeah, Scott. I was just about to use That's the... That's a bunch uh, of ground-up paper, lad. Scott's Easy Seed uses the finest seed fertilizer and natural mulch that holds water so you can grow grass anywhere. Seed your lawn. Seed it. Baseball in America meets baseball on WGN America. Cubs, Braves.